What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about two updates that Samsung pushed out following the One UI 6.1 update they pushed to the S23 Fold 5 and also the April security patch for the S24 Ultra. These updates are a little bit hidden, but they enable two features that were missing in One UI 6.1 that everyone's been complaining about. I'll tell you guys about those updates, how you can get them, where to download them, all that good stuff today. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan, for giving us some dinos to hang out in the video. We've got the Pashi Silivasaurus, as well as the Ed Montagna. We always appreciate my three-year-old son for giving us some dinos to hang out in the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, please do check out my alpha link. It's in the pinned comment description. It has all of the latest videos there, as well as the uh, mystery box sign up. So if you guys are new to the channel, we do mystery boxes. You get a free case cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. We do it for every flagship launch. The next one will be the Fold 6 and the Flip 6, then the Galaxy S25 series. Sign up for the newsletter to be informed about that. You can also check out my personal website. That'll be in the pinned comment description if you're interested to keep up with everything on the channel. So the first update that I wanna talk about is the device care update. So I talked about this in the previous video, but it's now started rolling out via the Google Play Store. Uh, you got you may also this is kind of weird device care for me gets updated on the google play store instead of the galaxy store a lot of people feel like this would probably be in the galaxy store but for me it's updated in the play store so depending on where you downloaded the application or the model of the phone you have you may find it either in the play store or the galaxy store mine is in the play store as you guys can see here this update just rolled out recently you can see device care update for one ui 6.1 so you do need one ui 6.1 in order to get this update you can see the reviews are quite positive on this. The version number, let's actually go in here. We can take a look at the version number. You can see about this app. Version number 13.8.06.11. And what this brings back is the ability to view your battery stats by data since the last charge. So let's actually go in here and I'll show you really quickly. If we go down to, you see here you've got battery and you can also access this from device care device care and battery, but device care here is what was updated. If you go into device care and go to battery, you'll see right here under the graph, you've got today, which is what was the default before, but now you have a drop down menu here and you can go since last charge. And if you tap on this, you're now gonna be able to tap on it and get all of your battery statistics since your last charge. So which app streamed, screen on time, always on display, system UI. And of course you can click around and kind of peruse these stats and see what's draining your battery at a given time. So this is a huge update because a lot of people were frustrated with the graph that just showed the usage for this particular day. Um, and that's something that a lot of people wanted them to bring back was the graph for since last charge because it's a lot more useful to most people I feel like, especially if you charge your phone a couple times a day, you might not know what would have been draining your battery since you recently topped up to 100%. So that is in the device care update Make sure if you haven't grabbed it yet, roll out to the Google Play Store or the Galaxy Store. It's a staged rollout. You can see in the Play Store, it said this update dropped on the 21st of March. And today's actually, what, the 28th or the 29th. So it took a couple of days to roll out and hit uh, everything in the Play Store. I want to check one more thing because I actually didn't get to it earlier. If you just go into battery, yes, you can also access the same menu I was wondering if they made it so that you had to go through the device care menu, but you don't because this does point to the same place in the settings. Uh, the other thing is Tarun Vats, who I talk about a lot on the channel. He's a great Samsung software leaker. Give him a follower on Twitter. I bookmarked his tweet from earlier because a lot of people have been complaining about this. The AOD, always on display brightness controls, are missing in One UI 6.1. This has been missed since the Galaxy S24 Ultra came out with One UI 6.1. Previously, you were able to change the brightness of your always on display. Um, so if you went to your always on display like this, you'd be able to change how bright it was. A lot of people conjectured, I as well, that because you now have the show full screen wallpaper on the S24 Ultra, that the always on display brightness toggle was actually removed and you couldn't change the brightness and crank it up like you could in One UI 6.0. However, Tarun says, Missing the always on display brightness control in One UI 6.1. It's moving to good lock next week as confirmed by the lock screen manager. Read treat to inform your Galaxy fan. He said, it's very disappointing that the AOD brightness control function has been deleted. For customers who are dissatisfied with the difference from the existing usability, this feature will be available for use through good lock in the next week. Please wait a while. We ask for your continued interest in the AOD and lock screen and do our best to provide better and diverse values. I think he means this is gonna be added to the lock star module in good lock. Now, I do have something I wanna say about this. 
it could be possible that this ends up making its way only to the S23 series and the folds and such, and not to the S24 because that one has the show full screen wallpaper on the AOD. I don't know, I hope that's not true, but the whole reason I think they removed this in the first place was because of burn-in concerns, like I said, with the full screen wallpaper on the AOD, but we'll see. If you don't already have it, make sure you go into GoodLock and download the Lockstar module. Of course, I'll have a video on this in the channel as well. We cover all the latest Samsung updates here, but make sure you download Lockstar, which is right here. This is the module that you wanna go and download if you don't already have it. That's probably where this additional option will live when it arrives next week. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. Uh, again, check out the alpha link if you're interested in the Mystery Box program and uh, the other things that we do on the channel. Keep up with the recent videos as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.